Barstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series. I've done three origin series. This is the next step up. This is number eight. Here we go. Hey, it's Matt Bourbon Banters 2020. Today's review is going to be on Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number eight. Whew, that's a whole lot of talking. You know, some people might say Bardstown BC, you know, D, uh, D, uh, you know, Bardstown BC DS8. You know, and you're like, fuck, man, I don't know what the fuck that is. I think these bottles are fucking cool. You know, it, you know, two regular bottles, these things, you know, you put three in the space of it. And they got great uh, little artwork in the back. This is more like a tree type, not tree, but like corn husk type thing, weed, whatever you call it. I got this, I, I've walked by this thing so many fucking times because the price is pretty steep. I'm gonna pour a glass here. I got too much going on. I got a fat one here and I got one more I may not do, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is just because. So there's the bottle. So I'm gonna run down the spreadsheet on this thing. The Origin Series, I've walked by the uh, Barstowns all over the place. I, it's like, I'm not sure, not sure. And they're, they're blenders, they're good. Barstown pumps out some great fucking great stuff. My boy Murphy, right there. Murphy! Having a tough time with some seizures, getting older. So, you know, we're all getting old. They blend a lot of good stuff. I've got one more down the road and it's it's down the road and we'll see. Cause this, this you're gonna see this after my live stream and I'll probably, if it turns out well, I'll do more live streams. Wanna try and make this channel to kind of inform you guys as well as communicating with you with bourbon whiskeys. Just like you would if you had your buddies over, you'd shoot the shit current situations, politics, whatever. Uh, this is Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number eight. It's a, it's a whiskey. Company Bardstown Proof 114.1 age, six, seven, 12 year whiskey. And one thing great about Bardstown, they put everything on the side, but I can't read this lettering with this light. So I'm gonna have to read it off my thing. Nashville. 66% of this bottle is 12 year Kentucky, 78 corn, 10 uh, rye, and 12 mountain barley. 17% seven year Indiana rye, 51 rye, 45 corn, four mountain barley, 11% 12 year Ontario, that's Canada whiskey, 12, 12 year Ontario whiskey, 100% corn. 6% of it is six year Indiana rye, 95 rye, five mountain barley. And the MSRP on this is 140. I got this for 120 at Total Wine. So when I walk by, I'm like, fuck man, they got it on sale. I'm gonna do it, 120 bucks. It does hurt a little bit, but I got it. And it has not disappointed. This thing's dark, this is good. This is, I get a lot of, I'm gonna go to the nose. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm yapping here. And I think I'm gonna try and do another bottle, but I don't know if I'm going to. I've been going for about an hour and 15 minutes. And this is well after my, first live stream if I can you know it's up to you guys I could do a, a live stream every month every two weeks however you see fit you guys you know on the first live stream this is beyond it but let me know I, I you know I'll, I'll decide and the whole point of doing a live stream is to get me out of my comfort zone of just knocking out this stuff editing putting it on the internet I, I want to do more interacting with my small community that I have of viewers so I gave you the low down round it. I, I think I took a first sip and I'm gonna take a sight, you know. Phew. I took about a 15, eh, 10, 15 minute break. Some strange person, because when I look out, I could see the street. Here we go. A lot of dark berries, chocolate on this. A little caramel, 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 caramel. My wife's from the East Coast. She, she says stuff so fucked up. Light leather. All right, here we go. Berries, sugar, a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'll give you two cinnamons on that. A little bit of oak and a little bit of rice spice on there. This thing here, uh, it's one thing about uh, Bardstown. They blend stuff. <laughs> they make stuff taste so good. For the longest time, I avoided Bardstown because I wanted just the pure whatever. But you know what? These dudes that have been making you know, Bardstown, 
barrel. The, these people that have been blending and sourcing whiskey and making stuff, I've, I've been producing a lot of good things. But it's it just so many, but like barrel. Barrel's got a hundred fucking bottle, different type of bottles. I, I can't afford all that, I can't. Unless barrel, hey, if you want to send them all to me, I'll taste them for you. You know, or Bardstown, if you want to send them to me, I'll take them, I'll do it, I'll do it. But, I don't, you know, my old lady's already fucking on my ass about so many bottles that I buy. Now, if I said, hey, they gave them to me, might be a different tune that comes out of her mouth. All right, I get what I give you, nose and palate, I'm gonna do it again, here we go. And you know what, I, I love the Origin series, and like I said, those three, the rye, wheat, and bourbon whiskey, were the first Discovery bottles that I ever bought. This thing, I went afterwards, and, and I passed it up numerous times based on the price, it was on sale, I grabbed it, 120 bucks, it is steep, but this thing's got some range in it. It's consistent, every single sip, and you're getting the brown sugar, you're getting sugar and cinnamon, Berries. I, I'm getting a lot of berries out of this thing, but it blend in with the, 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 the cinnamon and the sugar. It's very sweet, a little bit of oak as kind of goes into the finish there. This thing coats great. I'm getting a little bit of that rice spice tingling on the back side of the uh, tongue there on the sides. You get the berries, you get the brown sugar that's kind of just settling in. You get a little bit of that leather and that tobacco, but it, it's <sighs> fucking thing's still going. I'm gonna double up on that finish. I'm gonna keep going, keep going. It's like a, a constant fold over on the next, the last sip to this. And sometimes you get different flavors. I wanna finish this last sip. It's gonna be a little bit of a fat one. Yeah, it's consistent with the old uh, berries and leather and chocolate. I was very pleased when I bought it. Yeah, 120 bucks. I'm not a cheap bastard. I've worked for a living, but I've worked for a living. I got broken parts from it. When payday comes around, I gotta try and see if I can get my allowance because she's already got shit fucking spent. 120 bucks. This day and age, 120 bucks was 80 bucks, you know, five years ago. You know, so you kind of put, put it in perspective, you know, the economy. This thing also has, you know, if you do the 10 year, or $10 for every year, you know, theory, this has got 66% of 12 year shit in there. So, you know, that's where they kind of get you. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I finished that thing up. It's still coating my mouth, you know, getting the rice spice on the sides as it's staying back there. I'm getting the berries, I'm getting the uh, sugar, I'm getting the cinnamon. And in the finish, it, it's just the brown sugar that settles in with that berries and it kind of rolls into like a leather, tobacco, not getting a whole bunch of oak. So it, it's, this thing here, if you want disclosure, Barstown gives it, you know, tells you, tells you everything. And I think that's great. But these dudes, they are dudes, I say dudes, but these people at Barstown, they blend this stuff and they make it good. They make it good. Is it worth 120 bucks? I think so. I think it's $120. They say MSRP is 140. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You know, 120 bucks, I think it's worth it. You know, am I gonna, uh, if I finish this thing up and I'm sure Barstown will come out, by the time I finish this thing, Barstown will come out with something even better. You know, cause everybody's gonna try and step it up, make the next great best thing. Is it worth it? 120 bucks, 100%. It's, it, it falls in the uh, good category. If I finish it and I see it again, if I got nothing else I wanna buy, I'm definitely buying it. I'll buy it, I'll buy it again because I know what's inside it, but I'm sure Barstown will come out with something better and even more flavor involved. Hey, if you like this, it's it's a definite buy. F flavor volume is eight, eight, yeah, about an eight, 8.5. If you're looking for something that's down the path, but just a foot off full of flavor, this is it. These guys are good at what they do. They blend shit and they make great stuff, so. Hey, I'm at and like, subscribe, hit the bell, spread the word. You know, I'm just, you know, I'd rather have 500 solid, you know, viewers than 2,000 of 75% bots. You know, tell YouTube, put me on the main feed because it's possible people, people like me if they see it, but if they don't put me out there, people don't see it. And I'm talking just YouTube. I could talk shit because, you know, I'm to the point where I might just say what I think and if I get banned from YouTube, I don't care because I'm on, I'm on uh, 
Rumble as well. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in uh, the 2A. I believe in, you know, the Constitution. And those people that are anti everything but themselves will realize that those people are useful idiots and those people in power give a fuck about you. They want you to be a victim. Not not a victim. They 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 will get they will exterminate you before anybody else. So I'm at I'll talk to you later.